In this video, I'm going to show you five ways how I use contact tags within my own Go High Level account. So check this out. The first way is with canceled meetings and reschedule automations. So once the appointment is canceled, I don't only update the opportunity, but I also add the tag canceled appointment. And you can't only add tags, but you can actually also remove tags. So I do also remove the tag scheduled a call. And this is up to you. And you just have to decide for yourself. How do you want to build your systems and your automations? Do you want to keep this tag? Because theoretically, they did schedule a call, but the call, you know, they canceled it. So do you want to leave that tag? Or do you want to remove it like myself? So that's pretty much the first use case. Moving on to the second use case. And before we move on to the second use case, let me also show you an advantage of adding a tag in a situation like this could be that within your opportunities and your pipelines, you can actually hover over this little tag icon and see all the tags that your contacts and that specific opportunity has. So this is just dummy data from Game of Thrones, but it's pretty cool and pretty handy that you can do that and see that from within here. So that was the first use case. Moving on to the second use case, we're going to look at forms. So this is a specific automation that once a form is submitted, specifically this status update form, I recorded a video on this just recently. So if you want to learn about forms, check out that previous video. But uh, the big branch where this automation branches out is pretty much based on this appointment status. So depending on if you say, hey, this, con this lead was contacted, this lead showed, this lead no showed. And depending on this field, this is where this automation pretty much or this workflow branches out in high level and goes down different paths. And the main thing that I wanted to show you was again, how do I use contact tags within this automation? So if they no show, I do add the tag no show. If they were contacted, I do add the the contact tag contacted. And I do also update the, the pipelines and opportunities. And I do also add system notes. So you do want to keep your data in high level as clean as possible. When I started using high level, I, I didn't know how to leverage automations properly. This was three years ago. So I've learned a lot. And it's kind of like you want to prevent a mess. So the, the more you can keep your automations clean at the beginning now and have clean data in your system, the better because cleaning up a mess is a lot more work than just doing it right from the get go. And so if you're wondering where can you even see all of your tags, where can you keep your tags clean, you'd pretty much click on the settings and then you'll be brought to the back end and you'll select tags. And then if you scroll through here, you'll see all of the tags that you have and that exist within your account. You can see I've got a total of 68. A lot of them are kind of like silly tags from a previous demo from Game of Thrones, but a lot of them are very solid, good tags that I do still use for products. Like if it's an order bump, one time offer, nurture emails, abandoned cart, and we'll jump to tags like that at the end uh, up in these tabs up here. So let's continue. And also, if you're wondering why am I creating this video, somebody recently or Leo specifically recently commented on one of my videos, how should I use tags within high level and how can I make tags work for myself? And so that's why I'm creating this video. So if you have any questions and you want me to create a video just for you, then comment it down below and I might just create a video just for yourself. And so the next use case is actually an advanced AI chatbot. This AI chatbot is called Zappy Chat. And the main difference between conversation AI in high level and Zappy Chat is that the automations of this AI chatbot are open and we can personalize the AI chatbot a lot more than the conversation AI within high level. And one interesting use case that I wanted to show within these automations by Zappy Chat is that depending on the path that they go down here or pretty much every path, they add the tag AI processing right up here. And then just a couple seconds later, pretty much down here, they've removed the tag AI processing. So I thought this was a very interesting use case. And I just wanted to explain real fast um, why they're doing this, because this use case might apply to you as well. So this workflow in general, AI01, they, this is a loop. So contacts, every message reply back and forth with the AI chatbot, they always go through this, uh, this workflow again and again and again. And so the trigger of workflows or one of the triggers that you can use within workflows for uh, contact tags is tag added or tag removed. 
So if we type in tag, we can uh, use this as a trigger. And again, we can either add, trigger it when a tag is added or when a tag is removed. And so once a tag is added, the tag exists on the contact and it can't be re-added and, and the automation that you might want to trigger cannot be triggered again. Whereas if you add the tag, it'll trigger the, a separate automation. And then if you remove the tag, it can loop through it again and trigger that same other automation again. I hope that made sense. If not, uh, let me know. But uh, pretty much it's a very interesting use case where you can create loops. You can add tags, remove them. And so if you have some sort of loopy workflow where you want to do that, this might be the solution for your problem where you just add a tag, but then remove it right after again as well. The fourth use case that I wanted to show was during import process. So now I'm just under contacts. You can see the normal CRM with some Game of Thrones uh, dummy data right here. And if we import contacts, let's just upload a quick dummy file right here. Let's click on next. Let's uh, skip through this process as well. But the main thing that I wanted to show you during the import process, yes, we can give it an import name but often I choose to actually add an import tag. So this could be as simple as import and then it, you could start with the number one and just work your way up to three, four, five, six, seven. And pretty much every time you import, you add a tag like that. And then if you have to make changes or find those contacts that you imported during that process, again, it's very easy to pull them up with that tag. You could also uh, go for a date. So today is 0810. And then so how you want to do that uh, is up to you, but adding a tag or multiple tags during importing can uh, be pretty handy if you need to change things on the back end. And while we're here in the CRM view, you can always filter and adjust this generic CRM view uh, with tags as well or many other filters. I do have a video around smart lists as well. That's pretty much what you call this here. It's a smart list. And so you could say, hey, everybody who has this specific tag, show them to me. Everybody who has multiple of these tags, show them all to me. I want to see all my data. And I know one of the tags from Game of Thrones was brave. So let's say that we want to see all of these and we could still filter by as not or as empty and all that good other stuff. And once we have this list, we could just use this data like this, but we can also always save it as a smart list. Let's just call it this right here. And pretty much the smart list will then be saved so that we can toggle in between all our contacts and this specific smart list with these specific filters. And moving on to the final use case, which are checkout pages and order forms. So you could have a two step order form where the first step of the order form is pretty much give me your name, phone number, email. And then the second step of the order form is, hey, what's your credit card detail and actually finish the purchase. And the, the, the use case or the advantage of doing that is that if they only opt in to that first step, We've got their data and we can remarket to them and that's called an abandoned cart, kind of like you're shopping and then you abandon your shopping cart and you don't finish the purchasing process. So if you have automations like that set up and systems like that set up for your checkout and funnel pages, then you could also add tags there and see who everybody, who all has ever abandoned the cart and get data around that so you can make data driven decisions within your account because these contact tags can actually be displayed on the dashboards as well. So once you're in the front end of your account, you can click on dashboard and you can hit this little edit button or you could still see your, your typical funnel opportunity conversion data from yeah your funnels and pipelines. Um, but you could also hit this edit button and you can add new widgets. You can drag and drop around these existing widgets and completely customize this dashboard uh, to your liking. And what I was saying with the tags is you could uh, pretty much create a new section. Let's say we want a donut section because I'm hungry <laughs> and we want to add uh, uh, certain tags and filter uh, data from certain tags within this donut section. Then we could scroll down here and say contact counts by tags. So we could say, hey, let's find the count 
of certain tags and then we could filter it down back here and say hey the tag is uh, one of them was brave and let's show everybody who's brave and uh, add a condition or let's show everybody uh, who's also this so check that out play around with those customized dashboards a little bit i did want to mention that in this custom uh, tags video as well and let me know if you have any questions i know this was a lot of information in a short time span so if you have any questions comment them down below i do also have a free community with free courses and tutorials and you can even book one free group coaching call because i host daily group coaching calls about high level where I help people make the most out of their high level account so I love helping people for free uh, if you enjoyed this video also like it and I'll see you in the next one have a lovely day peace